This is my second online class, Vinyasa for Ladana. I hope you enjoy it and welcome to practice with me. So if you just start by finding a comfortable seated position, just however you like, however you find it comfortable, you can sit on a block, you can sit on a blanket, you can sit with your legs crossed, just however you find it comfortable. So that you can sit here for the next few minutes without anything bothering you. So whenever you're ready, from this comfortable position, adjusting any little meaty bits that need to be adjusted. And then you're going to lengthen the spine towards the ceiling as if there's a thread pulling the top of your head all the way up. And as you breathe out, just relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the tummy, and then maybe closing your eyes nice and gently, if you find that okay. Some people prefer to keep them semi-open, but that's totally fine. And when you're ready, take a deep breath in and a big sigh out. Take another deep breath in and a big sigh out. And then just tuning into your own breathing and checking how it feels today. You're just checking, you're not trying to change it. You're just acknowledging how it feels. If your chin is starting to wander forwards, just tucking it a little bit so that you've got a nice long spine. Relaxing the forehead, the space between the eyebrows. Feeling your eyes heavy in their sockets. And clenching the jaw and relaxing the whole mouth. Relaxing the lips and the chin. Relaxing the shoulders and the chest. Feeling the breathing, feeling the movement of the chest with the breathing. We also tend to tense up our tummy muscles. So if you can, just try and relax them, creating that space for the breath. So you can take a deeper breath and have more space to fill up. Relaxing the hips if any tension started building up and the inner thighs. And just following the path of the breath from the moment it comes in the nose to the moment it leaves. When your breath starts to get longer as you relax through the process. Maybe we can do a square breath together while you're here nice and relaxed. So the way we're going to do this, if you've never done it before, you're just picturing a square in front of you, keeping your eyes closed, you're just picturing a square. And with each in breath and up breath, we're going to go along the sides of the square. So we inhale, then we hold for the second side of the square, then you exhale for the other side, and then you hold with empty lungs on the other side. Okay, so let's try this together. So we're going to inhale for four, one, two, three, four, hold the breath in, two, three, four, exhale for two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, well done, one, two, three, four, hold the breath in, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, pull the breath out, two, three, four, one more breathe in, two, three, four, hold, 
two, three, four, start exhaling. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, and just do this five more times, five more square breaths at your own pace. You're more than welcome to keep with a four count. Maybe you want to give it for longer, maybe you want to go for six, maybe for eight, just challenge yourself. And if you need more time, feel free to pause the class and just do as many square breaths as you feel you need. And then just resume it back and we cannot practice doing the wonders of online services. If you're done with your five deep breaths, maybe you just start going back to your normal breathing. If you still need more time, that's perfectly okay. Save your time finishing up your square breath. And if you're done, just normal breathing, just resuming that normal breathing. And I hope you've allowed your chest and your lungs to move a little bit more than you normally would. Maybe that space feels quite nice. Maybe you feel a bit rough if you've got hints of a cold or this crazy virus that's going around. And then whenever you're ready, taking a deep breath in and a big sigh out. Take another deep breath in and a big sigh out. Bringing the palms of your hands together, just rubbing them gently to warm up a little bit before bringing them in front of your eyes, protecting your eyes from the light. And then slowly blink your eyes open and spread your palms. Let them adjust to the little light coming through. Before finally bringing your hands again towards your lap and welcome to your prop. So we're going to start by just rolling onto all fours. So you want to keep about uh, shoulder width, uh, you know, so you want to keep your hands about shoulder width apart, sorry. Even at home I still do the same I do in class. And your knees about hip distance apart. And for now let's just keep our toes tucked just for comfort. Keeping a nice long spine, looking towards the top of the mat so your neck is nice and long too. We're going to breathe in and bring that right leg up. So find your balance. If this is a bit shaky, just squaring off the hips sending that heel towards the back of the room, nice long line of the body and you're just going to press away, get that core starting to engage and as you breathe out maybe you bend the knee, maybe bring it to try and touch the nose and you breathe in straighten and breathe out knee towards the nose, breathe in straight a nice long line and breathe out Breathe and straighten. Lovely. And from here, we're going to bend that hip. We're going to press that heel towards the ceiling. 
you're going to create that nice long line with the body and maybe just pulsing the foot towards the ceiling just a few times four five six seven and eight and breathe that leg comes down breathing in straightening the left leg this time pressing that heel towards the back of the room nice long back and as you breathe out, knee comes to try and touch the nose. And breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And from here, bending that knee, sending the top of the foot towards the ceiling. And you're going to pulse from there. One, two, three, four, five, six seven and eight and letting the foot come down lovely a little bit of cat cow as per usual so on your next breath in just dropping the belly button towards the mat opening the chest towards the front of the mat as you breathe out tucking the tailbone curling the spine all the way press the hands away breathing in and breathing out and breathing in and breathing out breathing in and breathing out letting your toes behind you coming back to neutral spine you're going to press against the toes and send your hips towards the back of the room so you keep pressing the hands away maybe you move them forwards a little bit more just to get that shoulder activation. So pressing the palms against the mat, creating some resistance. And breathe in, roll forwards. And breathe out. Press the hands against the mat. Feel the shoulders waking up. And breathe in, come forwards. You'll see that my knees are a bit behind my hips. And breathe out. Keep pressing those hands. Breathe and come forwards and breathe out. So from here, from pressing the hands, keeping your shoulders nice and active, pressing against the toes, you're going to lift the knees off the mat. And from there, you're going to start sending your hips up. So the knees are the last thing to straighten. You're just trying to send the hips all the way up. Maybe you're on your toes right now. Maybe you've got a nice long line with the body and then you can start sending the heels to the mat. If your back starts curling from here, so that you start sending the knees to the mat, then just bending the knees, keeping them slightly bent, keeping the hands pressed against the mat and the back nice and long. Feel free to bend one knee, then the other just to give your legs a nice stretch. And on your next breath in, bending the knees ever so slightly, look forwards and take small steps towards the front of the mat. Breathe out, fold forwards. Breathe in, slowly coming all the way up, reaching up towards the ceiling. And breathe out. On the next breath in, taking the arms up all the way in. Breathe out, fold forwards, nice and slowly. Breathing into your happy lift, extend the chest, look forward. Maybe it's only the fingertips touching the mat. Maybe your hands come to your shins, just keeping your nice long back and your neck is nice and long as well. So your gaze is forwards towards the top of the room, but your neck and chin are still slightly tucked. And breathe out, fold again, take a step back with the right foot, followed by the left foot coming into your plank. On your next breath in, pressing against the hands, feel the shoulder blades move away from each other, coming onto your toes, the hips lift ever so slightly, and as you breathe out, rolling into your down dog. And breathe. On your next 
legs wide and then knees look forward. Step towards the front of the mat. Once you reach the top of the mat, breathe into your half with lift. Breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, bending the knees ever so slightly. Start coming up one vertebrae at a time, nice and slowly. And reach up towards the top of the room and breathe out, fold forward. On your next breath in, from here, pressing your hands against the mat or against the shins, we're going to bend the right leg. The left leg stays nice and long, but watch for the knee. Don't hyper stretch it, just keep it with a slow, short bend. And then switching the legs around. And switch. And switch. And switch. And just give your legs a nice stretch. If your hands are on the mat, just letting your head dangle in a forward fold. And whenever you're ready, breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, coming to your halfway lift. Breathe out, stepping back into your plank. Woohoo! It's all plank fun today. And as you breathe in, pressing the shoulder blades away from the mat, away from each other. And breathing out, rolling back into your down dog. And breathing and rolling forwards, pressing against the toes, feel the, heel, uh, the hips lifting. Start looking forwards towards the top of the mat, to roll into your plank. And breathe in, press against the hands. Breathe out, roll back into your down dog. And breathing in. And breathing out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Take some rest in your down dog. Keep working on sending those heels down. Press the hands away from the mat. So you're trying to create some resistance. There's some fight going on between your hands and the mat. And they're pressing away. The mat is pressing you away too. On your next breath in, you bend the knees deep, look forward. Take small steps towards the front of the mat. And breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, one vertebrae at a time, slowly coming all the way up reaching up to the ceiling and breathe moving on to Surya Namaskara B as you breathe in start reaching up with your arms as you breathe out folding forwards so from here just bending the knees nice and deep we're going to breathe in and slowly start coming all the way up keeping that tailbone tucked keeping the tummy tucked in too so you're trying to keep this line nice and long with the body and you're going to breathe in, keeping the ribs tucked in, bring the arms up. Don't let them flare up, keep them tucked in. Today we're really about engaging the core. And as you breathe out, fold forwards. Breathe into your half a lift. Breathe out, step back into your plank. From your plank, on your next breath in, you're going to come to your tippy toes. Breathe out, Chaturanga, or your variation. And breathe in, upward facing dog. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Finding your balance on your left foot. Breathe in, bring the right leg all the way up. Keep those toes pointing down, keep the core engaged. Keep the leg nice and long, foot is flexed. And as you breathe out, the right knee comes to try and touch the nose. And breathe in, straighten. Breathe out, right knee towards the nose. Breathe in, straighten. Breathe out, right knee towards the nose. And slowly, stepping that foot forward. Find your balance, keep your hips squared off. And as you breathe in, reaching up. Now, we're not letting the ribs flare up again. We're bringing them in. We're keeping the legs nice and long. If this feels a bit unachievable right now just slowly bending that back leg so that you get the hips nice and square and breathe in arms come up keep the ribs in on your next breath out bring the hips a little bit higher up turning that left toe about the left toe left foot at about 45 degrees 
keeping that right leg nice and strong, bringing the hips to face the side of the mat. Breathe in, bring the arms wide. Quick glance at the left arm, see where it is, and then looking over the right. And breathe. As you breathe in, flipping the palm of the right hand, letting the right arm come and tuck in on the left leg, and breathe in, reach up. Keep breathing. Keep the neck nice and long. And breathe in. Press through to center. Breathe that left hand, left leg. Right arm reaches towards the back of the mat. Keep that right knee bent. Let us straighten out. And breathe in. Press through to your warrior two. Breathe out. Cartwheel your hands towards the mat. Turn out your toes on your left foot and press back into your three-legged dog. And then slowly let that right foot come down towards the mat. Breathing in, left foot reaches up, flex the foot away, square off the hips. As you breathe out, bringing the left knee to, to come and touch the nose. And breathe in, straighten up. Breathe out, left knee comes, touch the nose. Breathe in, straighten. Breathe out, left knee towards the nose and slowly stepping that foot forwards. Breathe in, press up into your high lunge. Ah, nice and strong. Whenever you're ready, letting that right heel come down to the mat to about 45 degrees or so. And breathe in, open up in your warrior two. Quick glance at the right hand, making sure it's leveled up. And then looking over the left. breathing and flipping the palm of the left hand. Left arm comes to tuck in on the left leg. Right arm reaches up and above towards the front of the mat. Your neck is nice and long, your chin is tucked in and your gaze goes towards the right hand. As you breathe in, press up. Breathe out right hand towards the right leg anywhere but the knee. And the left hand reaches towards the back of the mat. Keep the left knee nice and strong. And breathe in, press through to center. Breathe out, cartwheeling your hands towards the mat, turning onto your right toes. Press back into your three-legged dog. And breathe out, foot slowly comes down. Take some prep, uh, <laughs> take a pause in your down dog, guys. On your next breath in, bending the knees deep, look forward. Step or jump towards the hands and breathe out, fold forward. If your legs have started getting a little bit tired, maybe just cuddle the legs, grabbing a hold of the behinds of the legs. Breathe and lengthen the chest. Breathe out, fold forward. And then on your next breath in, just starting to bend the knees quite deep, sitting almost and breathing. Press into your chair pose. And breathe out, come all the way up. Give your legs a little shake if you want to. While we're here, I just want to apologize for my lack of breath. It comes a little bit from being ill all week and my lungs haven't fully recovered so hopefully you're not breathing as deeply as me you're a little bit healthier fitter than i am and on your next breath i'm just coming back to your chair pose from standing and breathe out fold forward breathe into your half or lift breathe out step or jump towards your plank on your next breath in just pressing against the hands rolling back into your down dog breathing and bring the right leg all the way up Breathing out, right knee comes to try and touch the nose and steps forwards. Letting your left heel come down. Breathe in, press up to your warrior two. Breathe out, flipping the palm of the right hand, letting the right hand come to tuck in. 
and left arm reaches up and above. Breathe in, press through to center. Breathe out, left hand comes down towards the left leg. Right arm comes to the back of the room. Breathe in, press through to your warrior two. Breathe out, curl really your hands towards the mat. So pressing against the hands, you're going to bring the right leg all the way up. And this time, rolling on your left foot. You're going to either hold your side plank or if you roll from here, maybe, just maybe, if you're sti still, uh, still trying to work your balance, you just bring the left knee onto the mat and breathe in, send the right foot towards the back of the room and breathe out, come down. Wherever you are, joining your three-legged dog and from here, just like needle and thread, bring your right knee close to the chest and then stepping it under the left side of the body, rolling onto the other side of the left foot and breathe in. Send those hips all the way up and breathe that left hand comes down towards the mat, rolling back into your three-legged dog. And just like that, right foot comes down towards the mat, lovely. Breathing in left, leg comes all the way up. Breathe that left knee comes towards the nose and steps forwards. Letting the right heel come down towards the mat at 45 degrees. Breathe in, press up into your warrior two. On your next breath in, flipping the palm of the left hand, letting the left arm tuck in, right arm reaches up and above. And breathe in, press through to center. Breathe out, right hand, right leg, left arm reaches towards the back of the mat. Keep the left knee bent. And breathe in, press through to center. Breathe out, curl your hands towards the floor, press back into your three-legged dog. Now maybe roll onto the outside of the right foot and you hold your side plank from here. Maybe you let your right knee come down towards the mat. It helps if there's a 90 degree angle with the leg. And breathe in. And breathe out, hands come down towards the mat. Coming back into your three-legged dog. And breathe out, downward facing dog. Oh, sorry, downward facing dog. And then rolling onto the inside of your right foot, sending the left foot like needle and thread under your right side. And breathe in, sending the right arm all the way up and breathe up, come down and just roll into your down dog. On your next breath in, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump towards the front of the mat and breathe out, fall forward. Breathe in, bending the knees, come into your chair pose. Breathe out, fall forward. Breathe in, come to your half or lift. Breathe out, step back into your plank. From your plank, as you breathe in, press the shoulder blades away. Breathe out, roll back into your down dog. Breathe in, bring the right leg all the way up. Breathe out, right knee comes to try and touch the nose. Breathe in, come all the way up. Breathe out, right knee comes to touch the outside of the right arm. Breathe in all the way up. Breathe out, right knee, left elbow. Breathe in, come all the way up. Breathe out, let the right foot come down towards the mat. Breathe in, left foot comes all the way up. Breathe out, come to touch the nose. Breathe in, straighten up. Breathe out, right knee outside of the right, left arm, sorry. Breathe in up. Breathe out, right knee. Left, right arm. Oh, breathe in and breathe out. I'm getting the sides all swapped up. Hopefully you can still see the image. And on your next breath out, letting the knees come down towards the mat, going to your child's pose. Take. I'm just going to take the chance to talk you through what we're doing today. So today there's a lot of core work. There's a lot of arm work. Hopefully you're all feeling it by now. You feel like your shoulders are awake, your core is awake. Maybe the hammies because I like pushing you hard. 
And we're doing this so that we can do a little bit of balancing, a little bit of um, Bakasana at some point. So just stay with me, bear with me, and hopefully we'll get good results. So whenever you're ready, just start pressing against the hands if you haven't done so yet. Start walking your hands in towards you. And then we're just going to shift the feet to either side so that you're sitting now on your mat. So shimmy along so that you're about halfway through the mat. And then whenever you're ready, breathe out and lie down. Hopefully I haven't decapitated myself in the video and you can all still see me. And whenever you're ready, breathing in, bringing the legs all the way up. So it doesn't matter if your feet are flexed or pointed, it's your choice on this one, it's your preference. And bring your arms behind your head. I like to point my fingers so I have some sense of direction of where to go. And you're going to breathe in and breathe out there. And on your next breath in, you're going to bring the knees towards you. So you're lifting the buttocks a little bit off the mat. The shoulders are away from the mat. And you're just pointing in between and bring it up, come down. On your next breath in, on the outside of the right leg and breathe out. Breathe in, outside the left leg and breathe out, come down. Breathe in center and breathe out. Breathe in, bring those knees towards you, lift the hips, breathe out. Down. Breathe in left and breathe, <coughs> breathe out down. Breathe in center, sorry, I still have the virus. Breathe out down. It's not contagious over video. Breathe in right side, breathe out down. Breathe in left. And breathe out down. And breathe in right. Breathe out down. Breathe in right side. Sorry, that was center before. Breathe out down. Breathe in left. And breathe out down. Breathe in center. Breathe out down. Breathe in right. Breathe out down. Last one. Breathe in left. Breathe out, down, bring your knees to your chest, give them a cuddle. Well done, everyone. Rolling from side to side. Just to relax a little bit. And then, keeping your knees tucked close to your chest, we're just going to try something different. So from here, we're going to breathe in, breathe out. And as you breathe in, you're going to bring your knees close to your chest. It's really hard, isn't it? So this time we're going to try on our breath out. So breathe in there, breathe out, squeeze the knees in. <sighs> Creates a lot more space, doesn't it? Breathe there, keep squeezing. You're just using the abs and the legs to bring your knees as close to the chest as possible. So you're really squeezing everything in. And breathe out, let go. It's quite tough, isn't it? So you can keep your hands on the mat if you want. And you're going to breathe in and breathe out. Squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep breathing while you're here. And breathe out. If this is not feeling tough, then just check in with the core. Make sure the core is going. One way that I like to keep on checking that I'm doing what I think I'm doing is to feel if my buttocks are lifting, starting to lift off the mat and then if I'm feeling my lower back instead. So that should be a good sign. So whenever you're ready, breathe in and breathe out. So your hands are not helping, it's just an action of the core and the legs squeezing in together. And breathe out, come down. Yeah, so let's make this extra hard now. So the next time you're doing the same thing, but you're pressing your shoulders away. Imagine there's an imaginary ceiling, a ceiling just right next to your hands or you're holding a tray. You don't want to tip the tray. So you're really pressing it away from you so it doesn't fall on your face. And as you breathe out, you squeeze, squeeze, 
squeeze and press the tray and squeeze you're like a work of modern art i don't know something you're squeezing a tray you're in the middle of an exhibit and breathe out come down Ooh. breathe in and breathe up press away and breathe up come down oh this is tough breathe in and breathe out and breathe out come down let your feet come down towards the mat so keeping your feet about uh, hip distance apart you're just going to roll your feet your feet sorry your knees <laughs> from side to side like windshield wipers just to give like some sort of massage to your abs. We're doing a lot of hard work. And then whenever you're ready, bringing the knees to the chest, hands behind the knees, breathe in, roll forwards. So we are just going to do a little bit more of the other work before we go into back asana. So bring your hands to your mat, just shimmy shimmy alone. So you're halfway through the mat, tucking your toes behind you, lift the hips and breathe out, roll into your down dog. As you breathe in, bringing the right leg all the way up. As you breathe out, bringing the knee towards the nose and then rolling onto your uh, outside of the left foot. Maybe you breathe in, lift from there, woof. Maybe you lose your balance like me. Bring the foot all the way to the mat, or maybe just stagger the feet, woo -hoo! over each other. My balance is completely gone, guys. And breathe out down. <sighs> breathe in there, press the shoulder blades away. Breathe out, roll into your down dog. And as you breathe in, left leg comes all the way up. Breathe out, left knee towards the nose. Breathe and straighten, and maybe this time you roll onto your right side. Maybe your knee comes up, maybe your foot comes down for balance, and then you just roll back into your plank. Let the knees come down towards the mat, come into your child's pose. And your next breath and pressing against the palms of the hands, starting to come back to all fours, to your nice table pose. We're going to start doing some preparation for Bakasana. So the way I've structured this class is to give you a chance to work through Bakasana if you have never been able to do it, if you're working towards it, or even if you can already do your Bakasana, uh, just going back to the foundations. So instead of being a bit of a flow right now, we're going to slow things down and just break down your crow pose or bakasana. Okay, so one way you can start working on the core is if you bring your knees about hands distance apart from your hands, maybe you can bring your knee in line with the back, the heel of the hand. So you can try both and see how it feels. And again, you're more than welcome to pause and restart the video as you go if you need more time. And from here, just pressing against the hands, as you breathe in, see how your chest just expands towards the back. So you breathe in to that space of the upper back and breathe out, come down. Breathe in, press the hands away, breathe into that space in the upper back, shoulder blades just move away from each other and breathe out, come down. Sometimes this is already quite a lot of hard work. I'm feeling it. My legs are very shaky. So as you breathe and press away, my hands are getting shaky too. And breathe out, come down. So you can stay here and repeat this a little bit more. Or if you like, just take it up a notch a little bit. So bringing the hands again into the same position. As you breathe and bring the shoulder blades away from each other, and then just pressing against the tops of the feet, bringing the knees towards the chest and breathe out, come down. So these are like drills. Breathe and press up and breathe out, down. 
and breathe in, press up and breathe out down and breathe in and breathe out. Again, you can repeat these as many times as you want. I'm going to give it a shaky. I'm still in recovery. I apologise. This class is not as strong as usual. But you can do this for a few more times or you can bring your hands a little bit further back so your thumb is along the tops of the knees, the front of the knee. And from there you breathe in, press against the hands, press against the tops of the feet. Breathe out, come down. Breathe in, squeeze those knees in towards the chest. And breathe out, come down. We've done plenty of these when we were lying down. Breathe in, bring the knees towards you. And breathe out, come down. Just two more. Breathe in. And breathe out. And one last one. Breathe in. And breathe out. Oh, that's quite tough. Oy. So just giving your wrists a little bit of a stretch. You can just rotate the wrists and then the other way around. Not like you did in warm up in PE. I used to hate those things. But now I quite like the drills. So just shaking your hands. Lovely. And we're ready for Bakasana. Woo! So ready when you are. Um, so if you've been working with Bakasana with me, you know the variations, but I'm going to show you them anyway. So instead of starting with the tops of the feet on the mat, we're just going to start on our toes. Yeah. Hands come forwards. So the way I like doing it is I send my fingers away and then I put my palms down on the mat and they come a little bit closer to me. And then I just squeeze them in a little bit more. So I'm squeezing the mat, so there's a little bit of resistance. My hands are pushing the mat towards me. And whenever I'm ready, I'm gonna breathe in and come forwards. So maybe this feels like it's enough for now. Your hands are on the mat, you're gonna breathe in, come forwards. And breathe in, come forwards. And breathe in, come forwards. So maybe you're working here. Maybe you just start bending the elbows ever so slightly so that your knees are tucked at your armpits. And you breathe in. You come forwards, but let your knees slide along the upper arms. Yeah, and you just see how you feel. Maybe your hands come a little bit closer, really tucking those knees into the armpits. And you breathe in, come forwards. Maybe bring one foot off the mat. Maybe bring the other foot off the mat. And breathe out, come down. So we can work on these drills. If you know your bakasana, you're more than welcome to go straight into it. And you can hold for five full breaths and then come down. So breathing in, come forwards. Maybe you bring one foot. Maybe you bring the other. And they join. Okay. So you have your go at it, take as much time as you need and then whenever you're ready with your five full breaths, you just come back to your child's pose. This time in child's pose, I do recommend bring your hands by your side so that your shoulders can relax a little bit. you're still practicing, keep going. On your next breath in, starting to send your hands forwards, pressing against the top of the mat coming through to all fours and you're going to roll the feet to either side and come to sitting down. So shimmy shimmy along the side of the mat, that's however much you need it. And then just from the line down. So 
So keeping your feet about hip distance apart, toes facing forwards, maybe turning the toes ever so slightly, not too much, it's not a big change, your toes are just slightly turning in and you bring your hands along the sides of the body. Your knees are very close to your buttocks and on your next breath in, you're going to bring the hips all the way up. Keep your inner thighs squeezing in together. And breathe out, come down. And breathe in, press up. Inner thighs squeezing in. Buttocks turning towards the toes. So you're trying to send your lower back. Woo! Imagine you have a tail and it's going towards the top of the mat and breathe out, come down, and breathe and press up, and breathe out, come down, and straightening the legs, we're going to bend our right knee, bring it towards the chest, keeping your right hand, cuddling your right knee, keeping your left hand on your left thigh, so just stop it from rolling in as well. You're trying to keep your left buttock on the mat and opening up the right hip. It doesn't have to be all the way. You don't have to show us your magnificent split. You're just creating a little bit of a hip opening there. And breathe in, come up. Breathe out, straighten that leg. Breathe in, bring the left leg towards the chest. Give it a cuddle. And then cuddling that left knee with the left hand, the right hand on the right hip to stop it from rolling in as the left leg lowers a little bit. See how my right leg is still nice and strong, nice and engaged. And breathe in, bring it back up, breathe out, let go. So from here, bringing the knees to the chest, hands behind the knees, roll up to sitting. So I'm just going to turn to face you again. So sitting comfortably, however you like it, you're going to breathe in, bring the arms up. As you breathe out, your right hand gets sent off towards the mat so you can touch the mat as long as both buttocks are still on the mat. If the left hip starts lifting, then just keep your hand hovering. So you really want both hips on the mat, both buttocks. And the right hand gets sent out and the left arm comes to reach up and then turns towards the right side of the body. My neck is still nice and long, like in your warriors. It's tucking in and looking towards the hands. Breathe into that left space. And breathe in. Come up, breathe out, switching the hands around. Make sure your right hip, your right buttock are still on the mat. And breathe in, come up. Clasping your hands behind your back, you're going to breathe and send the hands towards the mat. Feel the chest lifting. So we're just opposing the movement we've done with our other calf meal. And breathe out slowly, let go. Like we did in the previous class, imagine you have a beach ball in front of you and you're really trying to hug it. It's a gigantic beach ball, you're really trying to hug really hug it and breathe in bend your hands back and breathe out hug that beach ball and breathe in breathe out hunch you really want to curl the front of the body and breathe in and breathe out and breathe in lovely breathe out coming back to normal breathe out lying down on your mat 
So from here, you're just going to tuck, tuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> Never mind, guys, sorry. So bringing <laughs> the heels towards the buttocks, you're going to cross the right leg over the left, shifting the hips ever so slightly to the right side. You're going to let your knees fall towards the left. And if you open your arms wide, if you've got the space, if you've got a tiny living room like me, maybe keeping cactus arms and looking over the right shoulder. So you're still awake for this. This is not Shavasana just yet. As you breathe in, let the knees come up, let the head turn to face the ceiling. Right foot comes down towards the mat, left leg crosses over the right. Send your hips ever so slightly to the left and letting the knees fall towards the right side. And then looking over the left shoulder. As you breathe in, start to look up, start to bring your knees up to face you and then maybe giving them a cuddle at this point, bringing them close to the chest, letting your shoulders drop towards the mat, letting the weight of your arms just bring your knees a little bit closer. And as you breathe in, sending the heels all the way up grabbing hold of the outsides of the feet, allowing the weight of the arms, bring your knees a little bit closer to the chest along the sides of the body. And maybe roll from side to side in your happy baby. And then letting the knees come back together. We're gonna roll up the sitting. So now's your chance to go and get your blankets, your jumpers, whatever you need for a lovely shavasana to make sure you're nice and comfortable, nice and warm. And I will guide you through the initial shavasana and I suggest you do it for at least 10 minutes to get the best of it. And I will leave you halfway through and hopefully you'll enjoy a nice lovely shavasana and hopefully you've enjoyed this class. And if you haven't done it yet, feel free to check my other class, also in the Merchant City Yoga channel, um, where we also targeted a lot of core. Common theme? I think so. So if you are back from grabbing everything that you needed, just starting to lie down on your mats, making sure you're nice and comfortable. <sighs> Covering yourself with the blankets, putting on socks, maybe putting some music, a lovely soundtrack that will help you relax. I have a playlist. If you're not following my playlist, you're more than welcome to put your own music at this point. So you're just trying to really have some time, some quiet time for yourself, along from anything that might distract you. So whenever you're ready, lying down on your mat, closing your eyes, and as you breathe in next, you're just going to tense up, really tense every little muscle you have and breathe out. <sighs> Let go. If there is anything that you feel might bother you for the next 10 minutes or so, now's the time to tend to it. So a little fidgety, a little movement, maybe the blankets touching your nose. Maybe I've made you aware of that. So this is the time to just tend to anything that needs tending, anything that might distract you from now on. And then just starting to relax your whole body, scanning for any places of tension you might have left. Relaxing all the muscles in your forehead. 
relaxing that space between the eyebrows, keeping your eyes heavy in their sockets, softening the eyelids, and clenching the jaw and relaxing the whole mouth. Relaxing the lips, perhaps allowing them to gently part in a smile. Feel the shoulders dropping towards the mat and the chest moving with the breath. Relaxing the tongue and the hips, the thighs and the knees the shins and the calves, the feet and the toes. Now imagine this light, this calming and soothing light, showering your whole body from the top of the head all the way down to your toes, leaving you feeling completely relaxed and at ease. Enjoy your Shavasana. Thank you all for joining me today.